So this video is going to be talking about verifying points on lines. But before I get into that, I'm just going to do a quick example that I forgot to do in the last video. So I'm just going to squeeze into this one. Um, so what it asks us, what is the slope of any line perpendicular to 4x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0? So again, it's a general form of a line that's perpendicular to this. So we know the perpendicular lines have, say, if m1 and m2 are perpendicular lines, then the product of their slopes are minus 1. So we'll find the slope of this, and we can find the slope of the other line. So the slope of this is going to be, slope is going to be equal to minus a over b, or minus 4 over minus 1, or minus 1. So that's equal to just 4. So that means we know the slope of a, so that's the slope of this line. I'll go dark blue. So I'll say, I'll say slope of perp line. So slope of a perpendicular line then is going to be minus 1 over 4. So remember, you flip it. So technically, this could you could write this as uh, 4 over 1. So you flip it, and then you change the sign. So now it's minus 1 over 4. So that means the slope, I'll just do it over here. Yeah, I'll keep them bright, bright blue. The slope, or sorry, the, for, the equation of any line that's perpendicular to this one is going to be y is equal to minus 1 over 4x plus k. Yeah, because k can be anything and this is going to be perpendicular so if you wanted to draw that out this line would be I don't know it'd be something like so this is this line here something like this and then our line here our perpendicular line I'll go dark blue can be any of these lines here as long as it is perpendicular yeah so it can be any of those lines so that's what this question means but anyway I'll go back now to verifying that a point is on a line, which is just going to be a really quick topic. So I will squeeze that in down here at the bottom. So here we have our question. Is the point 3, 5 on the line x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 and 4x minus 7y plus 10 is equal to 0? Okay, so we're going to, the way you do this is by subbing in 3 into the x and 5 into the y. So we're just going to go ahead. It's just a quick method you need to be comfortable with. So for example, I'll just write x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0. So that's going to be 3 minus 3 multiplied by 5 plus 12 is equal to 0. So that's going to be 3 minus 15 plus 12 is equal to 0. If you uh, put that into your calculator, you're going to get 0 is equal to 0. And that checks out. So that means that this point is on the line. Yeah, this point is on line. If you want to scroll down and I'll do the next one 4x minus 7y plus 10 so part 2 then so we have this one here 4x minus 7y plus 10 is equal to 0 uh, so we're going to sub in again our points 3 and 5 into this so we're going to find 4 by 3 minus 7 by 5 plus 10 is equal to 0 so that's going to be 12 minus 35 plus 10 is equal to 0. And our answer then, if you do that, is going to be minus 13 is equal to 0, which isn't true. So you put a line through that, and that means you say x not on the line. So it's as simple as that. That's just a quick method to show uh, is that point 3, 5 on the line. So if you want to do that on a graph, I'll just do this out. Um, 3 and 5 is going to be somewhere up here. That's our point. So there, I just quickly scribbled it out. So this is our yellow line here. So x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0. So we see that it does hit the point 3, 5. I have a little kind of dot there. And then 4x minus 7y plus 10 is going to be our purple one here. And we see that it doesn't go through the little dot. So again, this is just more just to show it isn't super important. But uh, yeah, that's a quick method you need to know. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe if you like the videos. And the next video, we're going to look at the point of intersection of two lines. Again, it's still just revisions, but uh, it will get harder, I promise you.